Hey everyone, I am here at Airway Park and of course this Airway Park heads over to the old airport and there is, what else is there around here? There's a, a few baseball diamonds and then there's an ice rink there, a Lions Club building and another community center I think. And the RCMP building's there and Nate's there as well. So there's a lot of things here and there's a really neat house behind me if you can see it. But um, I want to let you guys know that I am still doing the Throwback Thursdays, so that will be coming very soon, as soon as I finish backing most of the stuff up into this little drive here, which I just got. It is time for icebreaker Q&As. Here we go. What's your go-to snack when you are stressed? It's very interesting because when I'm stressed, I don't think I eat very much. <laughs> Here's what I did do. Anytime I finished an exam and I felt that I did a really good job, I would go get myself some good Food, which would include sushi or I would buy myself a video game or something like that would you rather be stranded in the ocean or in the desert well desert hands down because I can't swim and with this MH370 thing happening I don't think I want to be in the ocean right now or anywhere near the ocean and the desert at least there's some chance of getting out of the desert by foot if you could control all of your dreams where would you go and what would you do if I could control all of my dreams, I would probably have dreams where I'm eating some delicious food because it's a zero calorie diet. Or I would uh, travel to different places in the world. I'd probably do around the world in 80 days or, you know, do some sports that I would never would do. Some extreme ones. Uh, do what those guys did and cliff dive off Burj Khalifa. That would be really cool. What's my favorite card game? At first I was going to say Dutch Blitz or Uno, but I'm going to say Mao. And Mao is a game where there's an infinite number of rules and you can't discuss the rules. That's all I'm going to say. Number four, would you embark on a space exploration quest even if it meant that you would have to live the rest of your life in a spaceship? I, I used to would have said yes. But I'm going to say no to that one because the world is so big and there's so much more to explore in the world than space. What is there to explore in space really is just emptiness and I don't think I want to explore emptiness. And if you're really exploring space, you're really just exploring yourself. One of my favorite movies though is a space movie called Trapped. And it truly is a movie about exploring yourself and exploring who you are because everyone gets trapped and people eventually all disappear and get murdered or die or something like that. It really reflects on what would you really do in that situation. What's the silliest fad you completely bought into? I've probably bought into many fads but I'm gonna say Instagram I never really liked Instagram but then now I'm posting in Instagram because I'm scrolling through Instagram and seeing that nobody else is posting anything in Instagram so I figured maybe I should post a few things so people can at least do a little bit more scrolling than just one scroll and then you've seen everything in Instagram for the last week that's the fad that I bought into is Instagram so that's it I will see you soon